In this video, I wanted to show how I have been using technology for my online teaching in music. I know there are several questions out there. I've received a few myself about what I'm doing, and I wanted to show you my setup. I've been using a piece of software called OBS Studio. It's a free download from obsproject.com, and this will allow you to lay out your screen however you want, combining multiple sources or different scenes. It's an open source free software on all platforms. When you open OBS, you'll see your main canvas there, and you'll see in the bottom left a selection for scenes, and a place for sources, an audio mixer, and some other things, but I really want to talk about scenes and sources today. I have multiple cameras in my setup, so I'm going to go ahead and add those as sources right here. So I'm going to add video capture device. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm using an iMac, so I have a FaceTime webcam. And I'm going to add that. That's my main camera on the side of my piano. So I'm going to use that. Another camera that I have is a Logitech HD C920. This is a nice feature because it allows me to show my keys above my, an overhead shot above my piano keys. The nice thing about this setup is I can hit the control button and I can shrink, I'm sorry, the option button and I can shrink that down to just my keyboard. Put that down there. I was watching the, tuto the tutorial by Hugh Song on how to teach online and he had a little pedal camera which I thought was kind of fun. I have this Q4N zoom recorder lying around on a tripod. tripod. So I added that to the mix mainly for my more advanced college students. So I'm going to add that Q4 in. So I have a little pedal camera. It's the least of my concerns, so I'm going to make it small and put it down here on the right. lock those all three into place. Another program that I really like to use is called Classroom Maestro. Classroom Maestro is by Time Warp Technology. George Litterst is the creator of that and it's on special right now 50% off at timewarptech.com. The code is distance2020. I'm showing it right now in zoom mode. Now sometimes OBS has a hard time finding windows, but you should be able to add any window as a source. I'm going to select window capture. And there it is. And I'm going to put it over here. Like so. You can reorder your sources. and they will position themselves how you have them. You can also lock them into place or take them off. So another thing that you can do is you can add a scene. I like to add a scene just for Classroom Maestro. And in that scene it will just be a window capture 
it. And it will just be Classroom Maestro. And there, I can make Classroom Maestro large. And there it is. The nice thing about Classroom Maestro is it can be connected to a MIDI keyboard, or you can just demonstrate with your mouse. If you hit the caps lock button, it will allow you to enter in chords. You can get that both in jazz or Roman numeral based on your key signature. I can show scales and scale mode. Add keys, uh, add sharps and flats, my key signature. I can do individual notes. I can toggle between major and minor. So it's great for a music fundamentals class or a theory class, which I will be teaching soon, all online. Another thing I can do is I can add a scene for their notebooks. The notebooks that I usually write in went home with the students. And so I have been taking a lot of screenshots of students' notebooks. And they're all hanging out on my desktop here. a little bit more in focus so I can see what that student is working on. Another thing that I've been doing is I've been writing up in Word their assignments starting with theory, technique, and sight reading like I do every time so I can throw that into a scene as well window capture and I'm gonna find my Microsoft Word now again I'm gonna hold down option and kind of scale this back a little bit So that I can toggle back and forth between what they've been doing. I'm going to put this back to zoom so it'll fit nicely on my, my setup. Now I am using zoom to teach with my students. Um, so when I start a meeting, it's just my FaceTime camera. but I am able to share my screen with my students and I can choose just Classroom Maestro or I can choose just my desktop or I can choose my OBS layout so my students are able to see all my cameras that are going on at the same time. So hopefully that's of use to you, helpful. Um, I know this is a new world that we're living in and teaching in and something we have to get used to, but hopefully that will help as you navigate this new adventure together. Thank you.